Welcome learners. Um, today we are going to learn mathematics form 2. The topic is equations of a straight line. And in that topic we are going to find out how to calculate, how to find the equations of a, line, of a straight line. There are two scenarios in which you can find the equations of a straight line. But, but before that it is important to note that linear equations can be uh, expressed in the form of y is equal to mx plus c where m is the gradient and c is the y-intercept. The, the first scenario in which you can find uh, the, the equation of a straight line is uh, you are given two known points, two known points on a line. And if you are given two known points on a line, the first step is step number one, you find the gradient. And the gradient in, in mathematics is denoted by the letter m which is calculated by change in y over change in x. Also, y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. That's how you calculate the gradient. The second step is where in which you find the equation of the line. The equation. So, if you want to find the equation, you choose one of the known points you have been given. Suppose it is the a, b, and the BC, which are your, po your points, the known points you have been given. So in this case, you pick which point suits you. Let's say A and B. I'll pick AB coordinates AB. Uh, I say AB. And I pick any other random point, which is XY. And I find my, and I put my gradient there. Uh, an example is a line passes through the points A26 and B48. And you're told to find the equation of the line in the form y is equals to mx plus c. So I will show you how to work out that question. Well, you have been given a is 2, 6, and b is 4, 8. These are the two known points that you have been given. So in step 1, I say define the gradient, which is m, which is y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. In this case, this is our x1, this is our y1, this is x2, and this is y2. So I will say 8, which is my y2, 8, minus 6, which is my y1, divided by 4, which is my x2, minus my x1, which is 2. So that will be 2 over 2, which is equal to 1. That is my gradient. Now that I have my gradient, I will pick any two random points, let's say point A, 2, 6, or point B, which is 4, 8. In this case, uh, whichever suits you. In this case, I'll pick 2, 6. So I say 2, 6, and I pick any other two random points, so let's say x, y, and my gradient is 1. That's my gradient. I say uh, y2, which in this case is y, minus 6, which is y1, divided by x1, uh, which is uh, my x. And I mean x2 which is my x and 2 which is my x1 and my gradient is 1 so I cross multiply the 2 when I cross multiply I get y minus 6 is equal to x minus 2 multiplied by 1 is just x minus 2 so I say y is equal to I take an x minus 2 and I take minus 6 to the other side it becomes plus 6 so my equation is y is equal to x plus 4 that is my equation. In the second scenario, it is where you are given M and a known point AB and you are told to find the equation. So in this case, uh, for exa an example says uh, a line passes through the point 1, 2 and has a gradient of 2. You are told to write down the equation of the line in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So in this case, my gradient here M is 2 and my point here is 1, 2, 1, 2. So if I want to calculate this, I said I take the point that I have been given, 1, 2. I pick x, y as a random point, And this is my gradient, which is 2. And as I know, m is calculated, which is uh, the gradient, is calculated by y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. This is equal to y minus 2 all over x is my x2 minus 1 is equal to 2 over 1 so I cross multiply when I cross multiply I get y 
is y minus 2 is equal to 2 into brackets x minus 1. So if I remove the brackets, y minus 2 is equal to 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 1 is minus 2. I say, uh, I take a ne negative 2 to the other side, it becomes positive 2. So y is equal to 2x minus 2 plus 2. So minus 2 plus 2 is 0, so y is equal to 2x. So that is the equation of the line that you have, you have been asked for. And that is the end of our lesson. In our next lesson, we are going to look at the how to find the equations of parallel lines given the equation of one line and uh, how to calculate the equation of perpendicular lines. Thank you. Okay.